Hello. In this step, we're going to create another frame. And within that, we're going to put our labels in there. And we're going to open up an image and put that in the header. So replace the label with a header in effect. All right, let's try and open up the... Oh, God, it's not working, is it? Uh, go on, drag over. There we go. OK, so within the project here, I've got a file here called Save Our Town. PNG. There's actually an image, but it's some text in there saying save our town. It's part of the um, Stop the Hacker campaign. And we're going to put that one into our header. So let's just close that down and I'm going to close down that image tab. Right, so what we've got to do in effect was to do a lot of control C and control V. So I'm going to have to create new frames. Um, and I'm just basically going to copy and paste what I've already got and just rename them. So there's going to be an awful lot of that. So I've got headers and footer frames, so I'm going to create this one as being frame underscore one. And let's give that a different background colour. So let's put that as being white. Height's going to have to change, isn't it? Uh, so 480, so 300, 180, 160. OK, so yeah, 160s sounds about right. 300, 480, yeah. OK, then it's a case of copying and pasting down here to maintain the frame proportions. So I want to make sure those are propagated so they don't wrap around the widgets. Configuring these, I need to change um, both the footer one in here and the name of the uh, footer frame to frame underscore one. So remember, this is to give a, um, a kind of a weight for each of those. So each of those is going to be using a third. I'm not worried about the columns, really, but I'm just doing that for completeness sake, just in case you do have any of those at a later date. Um, and those will all be on um, column zero. As a general pointer, when you are making changes to these, um, what can be very useful is to um, make sure that you're testing early and testing often. So when you're making loads of changes, um, just run it when you've made that change. Just say, OK, is that what I expect that to look like? Because you don't want to do an enormous amount of developments finding it just doesn't look right. You're then not entirely sure where the error is. So make a change, then run it, see what it looks like. Yeah, OK, that's kind of about right. I've got a, uh, the label still at the top. And is that an Uzbekistani kind of flag? Something like that, somewhere around there. And what I want to now do is I want to place my frame with the the logo Save Our Town, and I want to put that to the top, and I want my label now to come down to my frame underscore one. I think it's worthwhile, this is going to get quite big, this file, is to make sure you've got some like, large kind of comments, which can help you identify where you are within the, the program. So it, it becomes quite hard, you're scrolling up and down, you're trying to find exactly where you are, and this is going to get large, but obviously some programs will get much, much larger. So putting nice blocky comments almost as placeholders can mean that when you're um, looking around to find things, you um, you can find them quite easily. So I'm going to copy that, and I'm going to go and paste that area there, and that's going to be, well, it's going to be my um, frame underscore one. So I'm just going to... Put a space between that and then control C and then control V, control V, control V, control V. And I'm just going to say that and there will be the instructions finally. So let's give that a, a meaningful name. And I'll create another one there for the footer, which is going to have buttons in it actually. But let's put footer, 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 footer. Control C, control V, control V, control V, control V, and change instructions there for buttons. So I'm scrolling up and down. Those large sections are easier to see uh, and you're less likely to get lost um, within them. Right, I want this to be part of frame one, so I'm going to change the header underscore there to frame underscore one. Quite easy to, to make that change. And I'll look at that one. I can see, yep, that has now moved uh, to that particular point. I'm not happy with that. Right, so up here, what I want to do is I want to create a uh, another kind of label to be able to stick the image in. Um, I'm going to call this one label one and label one just because those are going to be into the frame one just to identify the difference. Actually, the system seems to be quite good at having ones of the same name, but I find that would be potentially confusing. OK, so previously we've displayed a uh, um, something which, well, let's first let's create the image first of all. So my image equals and it's going to be a photo image 
where is it? Well, it's within the same path as the, uh, the, the project, as this particular Python file. So I don't give it the whole path. I can give what's called a relative path. I'll just say basically the file equals, I just have to give it the same name. So it's save our town, all one word, dot PNG. And of course you should find this in the resources. And then I'm gonna create myself, well in fact, I'm gonna create myself a, a new label. And this is going to be of type label. And that's going to be within my header frame. Now it's not text. This is going to be picking up a, an image, so it's um, a little bit different. And that's going to be called the my image, which I've just created. So in effect, in there, I'm putting that. I've created it, but it hasn't placed anywhere. So I need to say, okay, please, can you put that in the label? is to go into that particular frame. So I'm going to use the grid. And I won't bother putting it um, anywhere technically. That should just find it sort of fairly kind of central within our place. That looks sort of okay, doesn't it? I could guess I could say got different rows, um, east or west. I can muck about with columns maybe to position it, but actually I want to have this central. If I chose east and west, then actually we'd have like a banner all the way across the top. I'm probably ultimately going to change that background colour to be white anyway, so it won't be too much of a, of a problem. And it's pretty much of the same height as we're going to need for the final one. Okay, I think we've done enough in this particular lesson. Um, thank you for listening.